What do you get when you combine some duct tape with the 4th of July? You're about to find out in this project that's an answer to a challenge by my buddy Grant Thompson. To make the Star Spangled Hammock, I started out with some wood dowels. These are one and an eighth in diameter, and also some duct tape. You're gonna need about 60 yards of duct tape, plus a couple of other special rolls I'll show you in a minute. Now the most important part is securing your wood dowels. So I'm gonna use a couple of saw horses, and with zip ties, I'm gonna wrap the zip ties around the dowels, leaving a gap between the dowels and the saw horses. However you secure your dowels, they should be about six feet apart. Then I measured in from the end of the dowels about four inches and made a mark. Now starting with your first color, in this case red, with the sticky side up, you'll want to roll the duct tape around the dowel. Now I did about three times around to make sure it was secure, and then unrolled it to the other dowel. Then when you get there, you're just going to wrap it around and then carefully start applying it to the sticky side, going back the other way. You want to try to do this carefully to avoid any wrinkles, but unfortunately, some wrinkles will be inevitable. And once that duct tape is stuck to itself, it's hard to pull apart. Then once you get back to the original dowel, you're just going to cut about a foot off and then apply that to the bottom, again, carefully to avoid wrinkles. So there's your first strap, and now it's time to do the rest of the straps all the way down the dowel. So repeat this process, take your time for a good job. When you're done, you've got your initial main straps on your hammock. Now it's time to add the special tape. I found this blue tape with white stars, which is going to be perfect for the cross straps. Here, we're going to run our tape across the straps. Now, you could make marks to measure out exact width, but I was able to eyeball it pretty good about four inches apart for all of my cross straps. Again, these will go all the way across, around, and then back, securing the tape to that strap. Continue adding the star-covered cross straps till you're done. The cross straps are finished, and our hammock is almost done. Well, there's a couple of small wrinkles, but that's okay for the first try on this hammock. Now we need to support our hammock somehow, so the last step is to drill a hole through the end of the dowels, and using an eye bolt with a nut, run that through the hole and secure it with another nut. Then using some rope, I hung our star-spangled hammock from a couple of trees. It looks really cool. And there you have it, the star-spangled hammock. This video was made in collaboration with my buddy Grant Thompson. Check out his channel for some really amazing stuff. And don't miss our mega collaboration. 10 insane party tricks. You're gonna love them.